What's up guys, Mason the Brock Anderson here. This is Arrow Season 4, Episode 5, Haunted. Um, this is a good episode. It's not my favorite, but it does kind of show the change in tone that Arrow is ha taking right now. Um, I've talked before how it seems like w what was going on for most of the past three seasons has been very dark. It's been very grim. The story has been just really, really focused on, you know, we need to make this as realistic and as dark as possible. Um, very DC-minded, if you will. Um, so it's very interesting to see that season four now is starting to feel a bit more fun, a bit more unrealistic, a bit more out there as far as the story goes and this is definitely one of the most sort of fun and creepy and weird kooky episodes uh, they have a guy named Constantine who ends up like first he shows up in the flashback and like who's this guy like they show him in a way it's like you should know who this is I was like I don't know who he is and I looked it up apparently there was another there was a show called Constantine that he was the star of um, and, uh, yeah, apparently that did not do too well from what I read. But he comes in in the flashback, and then it shows Oliver calling him up in present day saying, Hey, I need your help with something. So it seems that he knows how to get Sarah's soul back from the Lazarus Pit, which is kind of weird. Um, but th there were some really good things about this episode. Like, I, I did enjoy Constantine. He was interesting. He was weird. He was funny, too. Um, it, everything he did, all the witchcraft stuff was really out there and I'm like, this is weird for Arrow this is really weird for Arrow um, but it was enjoyable too so that was fun to see um, you've got Sarah going crazy killing people, trying to kill these women that, looks like, that look like Thea and so they draw the conclusion she's trying to kill Thea uh, based on what Thea knows about the Lazarus Pit interestingly enough the second time Sarah comes for her when she's in the hospital room, Thea's just like, yeah, okay, kill me. I'm like, wait, what? Like, do you not have... What? I guess she did... She is dealing with some stuff right now, you know, after coming out of the Lazarus Pit, having this bloodlust inside of her. I think she's kind of scared of herself to the point where she doesn't mind the fact that Sarah's about to kill her. Um... So yeah, I, that that scene was a little bit weird, but it was understandable at the same time. Uh, then they do this little ritual thing after uh, they manage to knock her out, um, and it, it just you know, it's kind of this let's dive into her soul to get her soul back or something like that. I don't really know. They, they explained it with all these mystical words and explanations. It, it's kind of like listening to the fictional science on uh, on the Flash. I don't follow half of it. I'm just like, okay, yeah, that sounds like something science-y. <laughs> um, so yeah, he starts explaining all of this stuff, and they go into her mind. The one complaint I do have about this is that it was very short. It felt like it could have been drawn out a bit longer. You know, like, it, they walk into one door, and they end up walking back in the room, which was pretty... I was like, ooh, this could be really, like, mind-twisted. And then next thing you know, he's like, wait... Let me pull out this lighter and then speak some words of enchantment. And all of a sudden, the lighter takes them to where they need to go. There's Sarah's soul inside of this Lazarus pit being held down. The the guy Constantine just starts fighting off all of these people that are coming to attack. He's like, "You get Sarah, I've got this," and starts fighting them. And they start pulling Sarah out of the Lazarus pit. And then next thing you know, he kills. I guess it was the main guy. I don't know. Um, but as soon as he kills them, like they just pull her out easily whatever was holding her in the Lazarus pit stopped and so they just pull her out and now she's back and I'm just like that was easy <laughs> you know I just I guess I wanted a bit more um and it felt like they could have taken out maybe one of the attack scenes on Thea uh just, you know like have her be attacked once and have her be attacked in the hospital and then that's when they knock Sarah out so we have more time to delve into this uh traveling her soul it was just it was interesting. It was something that Arrow doesn't normally do. Like I've said, it it didn't feel like Arrow 
but in a good way. You know, it feels like the show is changing for the better. It's not so, like, focused on being serious and trying to make everything sound like the most important thing ever. You know, trying to make every line feel like this. If we don't do this, this means the end of Star City. You know, like, even even Oliver's main line throughout pretty much all the first two seasons, YOU HAVE FAILED THIS CITY! It's like, dude, lighten up. Like, let's have some fun. There was a hard... Th there was fun, but it wasn't enough. Um, and so I like the fact that they're kind of throwing in some fun stuff to this show now, so it's getting more enjoyable to watch. But, like I said, I wish there was a bit more of that in here. Uh, the flashbacks kind of felt unnecessary like he shows up it, I, I don't know how to explain it but the way it, it happened pretty much it meant nothing like ultimately when you really think about it Constantine kidnapping Oliver taking him to this cave and then Oliver like they find this scepter that he's looking for he nearly dies from a trap Oliver saves his life it felt like that whole scene happened just so he has somebody to call to help Sarah get out of, you know, get her soul back. He he has this occult detective to call. It just it felt like it was forced into the flashback. And I've I've already, you know, said that I don't like the flashbacks as much this season. Um because in the first three seasons the flashbacks were handled very well because they tied in with what was going on currently while still feeling like it's telling an actual narrative and it's telling an interesting story going on there too. I really I really enjoyed that. This season so far it feels like so far it hasn't connected to anything. Then finally in this episode it does connect to what's going on right now, but the narrative in the flashback has now kind of been broken up. Like it where it was flowing, now it just kind of had to stop for a second so he could go on this adventure with Constantine so that way the present thing can happen right now. It was poorly written. Uh, and that's not usual for this show, so it was disappointing for me. But overall, though, I'm I'm still am pleased with this episode. I wouldn't say that <laughs> I'm I'm like completely agreeing that oh this season's gonna be amazing. But I do have a bit more hope for this season now because honestly, the end of season three did frustrate me um, quite a bit actually. And especially now that Flash, you know, I'm watching Flash 2 at the same time. It's like, I want to see Flash. That's the show that is really, it's got it right. It's it's fun, it's exciting. It does everything right. The character interactions are handled well. And Arrow, while the action is still good, it, it's not as fun, it's a bit more grim. The character interactions half the time are stupid. It's almost always characters are fighting in between each other. Um, so, yeah, between the two, I definitely have to say that The Flash is still easily my favorite of the two, but this episode is kind of pushing Arrow in the right direction. I hope they continue that as well, um, but we'll see where it goes. That's about it for this episode. Um, i trying to remember how it ended. I can't remember now. Crap. I think we found in this episode, like, uh, Felicity heard the the message from Ray Palmer saying that he was still alive. I think that's how this episode ended. It's uh, honestly this is one of the first times, and I'm gonna do this with the next Flash review as well. This is one of the first times that I watched it, and I wasn't able to do the review right after. Like I, it, I was in a position, like I was in a room where there were other people around, so I couldn't do the review. So yeah, this is several hours later I'm trying to remember everything from that so hopefully I remembered it all if there's anything I missed you know let me know in the comments we can discuss it uh, but you know, let me know what you thought of this episode uh, if you agreed it was fun you know leave a like and subscribe for more arrow and I'll see you at the next review peace out